Hiya. I'm here at Gold Hill Adventure Playground uh, on Ayers Monsell and this playground, I mean it's a fantastic facility and I'm such a champion of our adventure playground so it's brilliant that this facility is here for local children but it's not just about the play equipment, they've been handing out food parcels to children throughout this crisis, they've been supporting local families so I'm here to find out a bit more about what they've been doing throughout the pandemic to support people on Ayers Monsell and on the Saffron Lane estate. Hiya, you're right. Hi, you alright? Hi, are you alright? Yeah, yeah. So this is what they get on Friday morning. Friday. Yeah, yeah. So the numbers went through the roof, so these bags then went from 50 to 60 up to 120. Yeah. Plus anything else that we've had. I mean, we're doing that twice a week. You're insured. Am I? <laughs> oh, there they are. I don't think I am. Oh, oh. There you yeah. go. You made it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> really brilliant to be here at Gold Hill Adventure Playground this afternoon. So inspirational what the staff and the volunteers uh, have achieved. They've been handing out 120 food parcels twice a week. Families queuing up the street on Wednesdays and Fridays to get the food parcels. They've been working with families and children in the area to make sure that they've got food, that they've got clothes, they've had donations from high street stores and they've been handing out free coats for local children. It's absolutely extraordinary. But again, it shouldn't have to be like this. We shouldn't have people going hungry in society. We shouldn't have people so poor that they have to rely on these handouts. So it's great that this happens, but we've got to do something to deal with this poverty in Leicester. And my message to the government is, child poverty is a disgrace. Invest in young people locally because nobody should be going hungry in our city.